What's up, Chewies? It's James here for Fresh Movie Reviews, and I know it's going to be uh, a good one because it's Black Panther. And if you thought I butchered the names in um, uh, Lady Bird, this is going to be a, a fucking shit show. <laughs> but, um, holy shit. Black Panther is amazing. It's a, for one of the st standalone films. It, uh,. It works absolutely uh, perfectly. Like, um, <clears throat> it's better than Iron Man 1. Nearly on the same path as Doctor Strange and visually stunning uh, as in uh, um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. And, <laughs> but yeah, um, so the cast, Chadwick Boseman as uh, Black Panther, Chichikala. I do apologise for the names. Uh, Michael B. Jordan, he, uh, Eric Killmonger. Lupita Nyong'o as Nakia, oh, I'm sorry, but she was the um, weird alien thing from Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and The Last Jedi. Um, Diana Guerrera, or Koi. Oh, she, um, she's, who is she? Sorry, she is, um, Michonne from The Walking Dead and uh, Martin Freeman <laughs> and with uh, Daniel Kaluuya he, he was from um, Get Out there were lots of uh, good people in there like Forrest Whitaker and Andy Serkis and it's not, it was nice to see Andy Serkis not in green screen well his arm was in green screen but yeah <clears throat> and I have to say the movie was culturally sensitive, uh, visually stunning, and um, they could have used a bit more colour, like, <laughs> a bit more colour as in um, going into the spirit realm and everything, uh, a bit more uh, something to pop your eyes to be like, whoa, it's like in Doctor Strange it looked like you were taking acid and that makes sense for the time, but um, yeah, this one was basically the whole premise was awesome. It said basically a week after um, Civil War. And uh, it gives a little backstory in the beginning from 1992. And I would say, <clears throat> it annoys me a little knowing that uh, Disney owns Fox. Uh, because being that I would have been fine with this year having no uh, Marvel superhero movies at all. Like, what they could have done being that they bought Fox, is that they could have um, uh, delayed every movie, like, and reshot a bit here and there, um, and add every character that they needed to, like, the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, um, and whoever. Because, technically, uh, Black Panther's married to Storm, and I get that, that's cool. And, really, the first se uh, sequence of the movie is basically... Um, of the Wakandans what, what, what coming into New York City or Detroit or wherever they are, and um, and they are coming in the shade of darkness. I'm like, and you could have used Storm for that, but yeah, that, that's just me. Like, I really would would have loved them to not bring out anything Marvel this year. That would have been amazing just to get reshoots and add smaller characters. Like just to see Storm or something, that would have been that would have been awesome. Um, but yeah, um, but this was amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, seeing the technology and the a cultural appreciation for Africa and Rwanda, well Rwanda, um, is awesome in this. And Stan Lee showed up. I love that. Like I was worried how they were going to do it because being that it's set in technically Africa, but they also went to South Korea. And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. A random white dude in South Korea. But, um, a, a little disappointment that um, there wasn't much uh, Kendrick Lamar music because, Kendrick Lamar, sorry, because he did the soundtrack. But uh, I am going to get the soundtrack. I'm going to listen to it because apparently it's awesome. He's done the entire thing. And, um, but yeah, the fights in it were pretty good. Like, make you worry, and, um, it wasn't overly, um, 
upset the balance of the movie because you can't have too much being that uh, Chadwick Boseman Chikala looks pretty um, fine in the Infinity War trailer. <laughs> He can't really, you know, get hurt too much. You can't lose an eye, lose an arm, lose a leg. Because it's like, oh, look, you're perfectly fine there. But, um, say, <clears throat> for, uh, out of 10, I give it a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Um, vi again, visually stunning. And it kind of gives off the vibe that because they are the richest country, worth trillions and trillions of dollars because of the vibranium, um, they know how, uh, the, uh, the way of the world, and it's kind of like, oh, we can't do that, I know we're rich, but, ah, uh, they just have to suffer, it's like, ah, uh, okay, but, yeah, um, and battle rhinoceroses, heel to the year. I was kind of worried when there was a, they were brought into the fight because like they're kind of endangered or they're all kind of dead or one's alive so don't do anything. But um, the middle scene, it works, and the the last scene of the movie, it was nice to see the cameo we've always wanted, and um, it's um set up for um Infinity War which is in April so February March April, two months we got two months to wait, and. I'm full on excited for that. Like, trailers look amazing. Sneak peek of a certain part of the trailer that looks like um, Miss Marvel is going to be in it. I'm going to do a trailer video soon. But, um, yes, for a standalone film, nine, and for the in the Marvel Universe continuity, I would say it's technically the third best, in my opinion. Because, first, Guardians of the Galaxy then Doctor Strange, then Black Panther. And then I will do a list of it later on when it all comes out. But, um, yeah. If, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment of what you liked. Um, and if you should, um, if they should have, like, delayed it for an entire year as well. Because, you know, that would have been awesome just to have just snippets of other characters. Like, in the, um, scenes where maybe Wolverine would have showed up or something. I know he's dead, technically. But, you know... <coughs> have some of the X-Men do that yeah like share and subscribe and we'll catch you later